Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I wanna go over Suno AI version three. This is awesome. This is a new tool that allows you to create quality music up to two minutes long. You get 10 songs a day for free and it sounds like it could almost be played on the radio. I know that's a big claim, but I promise you I'm gonna back it up. I'm also gonna discuss whether or not you can upload it to YouTube, you can upload it to Spotify, whether or not you can upload it to Apple Music, what the rules are around that. Everything like that is going to be covered, including how to create songs in this video. Let's go. All right, so the first step is you wanna to go to their website. A link is in the description below, but you'll see here that at the top right, you got the option to make a song it's that simple, just click on her. Here we go, on the front page or the explore page, I really like this page because it has the latest and I guess the most popular music or the trending music. And if you just listen to this, check this out. I'll just give you a five second snippet. Okay, that's uh, not my style maybe, but uh, hey, that was created with AI. That was literally created with a text prompt. In fact, they've got the text prompt that was used to create that song right here. You can see it, you can just copy and paste it if you wanted to. So to create a song, let's just go quickly to that point here. On the left side, you'll see create. Click on create, we get a couple of options. Now you'll see here that I've already made like nine songs today, so I've only got like one left. So I'll make that one for you. So here's the thing, you can have it as an instrumental. So if you don't want lyrics, just click this little tab here, or this little button, or turn it off if you want lyrics. Now the lyrics are pretty darn good for some of these songs. I'm not gonna lie, so I'm gonna leave it with lyrics on. So in this case, I'm gonna go song description. I'm gonna go uh, English Bulldog that parties hard. He sends it every time. Okay, this dog is a party dog. He just sends it. Okay, maybe we want, I don't know. I don't even know what we want. We do want EDM? Sure, EDM. We'll do it with EDM. It doesn't really matter. I just want to show you the technique. Now, up at the top here, you're going to see custom mode. This is for those of you that have your own lyrics. Yeah, I know this is wild, but you can actually upload your own lyrics and enter them in here. I'm just going to go ahead and click on accept, but Pretty wild stuff, not gonna lie here. You can also go ahead and select the style of music. So if I wanted electronic, I don't know, I'll just put that in there. This is just more stuff that you can go ahead and do. So I'm gonna turn this off, but I wanted to show you that that is available. Now, I'm on V3 here, and it is literally as simple as clicking on create. I'm gonna click that button. Oh, I need at least 10 credits, so there you go. So, okay, so I've ran out of credits today. No big deal, I've already made all of these songs. So once you hit create, it takes a few seconds and then it creates songs like this. Here's one called Bulldog Groove. This is surprisingly good. Let's just listen to a few seconds of it. You'll see on the right the verses. Dancing to the beat. Like what the hell? He's got the rhythm on lock. Wow, like this is crazy. Like this isn't like bad. I mean, I mean, it's kind of silly, but you know what? Those are pretty good verses for just an AI for literally just a one click solution. Now you can remix it here as you see here, or you can go ahead and copy the link if you want to share it on Facebook or something like that. But here's the best one. Click on these three dots or this ellipses, and then you can continue from this song. So if you want to create more on this song, you kind of like it and you want to keep it going, go ahead and do that. If you want to name it something else, go ahead. But here's the best one. You can actually just go ahead and download it. And you can download not only the audio, but the video. This is crazy. I'm going to click on download video. Watch this. It's going to go in here. I'm going to click then on my little download folder. And I'm going to load it. And you're going to, this is crazy. Watch this stuff. Crazy. Now, this is uploadable. You could upload this as a short on YouTube or TikTok with the required attribution. Don't get me wrong. You can upload this to Spotify, Apple Music. If you have a pro plan, you can monetize this. That's right. You can make money off of these. I haven't tried it yet, but it's the real deal. So there you go. I mean, this is just absolutely nuts. If I click on my library on the left side, you'll see here I've got access to all the songs that I've created in the past. So there you go, it was literally that easy. Now let's answer some FAQ questions just so you guys can know that, you know, what are the rules regarding uploading and using the music. So I'm gonna cover that quickly in the next section. 
All right, so for this, I'm on their FAQ page. Of course, you guys can look this up on your own, but I'll just answer the questions uh, as they state them here. So can you upload this to social media and streaming services? The answer is absolutely you can. Although if you use a free account, you need to do attribution. But if you're a paying subscriber, you can monetize your songs. So in this case, you can monetize your songs on YouTube if you have the pro or premier plan. So there you go. If you up, Can you upload your songs to Spotify and Apple Music? Again, you can, but you need to be a pro or premier uh, member. And again, guys, I know you guys can look this up on your own, but this is a lot of times what people are wanting to know. Um, it discusses what the different terms of uh, commercial use are, so where you can and can't use them and where you have to give attribution. Um, and uh, yeah, there we go. Who owns the music or who owns the songs? If you're a paying subscriber to Suno, then you own the songs you generated while you were a paying subscriber, which is very interesting. So if you stop paying for the subscription, you still own it if you were a paying subscriber at the time. And here's the other really one, the good one that you need to know. If you write your own lyrics, do I still own them after submitting them to Suno? And the answer is yes, you do. So there you go, guys. This is it. This is like, in a nutshell, this is a really cool program. Give it a try. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Make some music. Share them with me. Let's do this, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.